about my sweat equity. Uh, sweat equity. What was that? That Cummings guy? Ah, just a sigh. Heath Cummings. Heath Cummings. 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 That's a it's a sound drop I got from a fantasy baseball podcast. Nicole. Morganti, my wife. He's sitting coming. There. It's not your job Oops, to sorry, I'm pressing the wrong buttons, but it's not your job to make excuses. <laughs> I'm not used to the double keyboards. Oh man. Now we got it wide. We got it wide. There you go. Ooh, we got a family affair. Mm. That sultry voice you're hearing. As our guest, Dr. Uh Nikki Morganti. Mm-hmm. I was told to swallow the mic. Yes. And speak with it down here. You yeah. look like you're two feet tall on camera. <laughs> yeah, you look like... If you sit up. Two and a half feet tall. How's that? If you, if you twist better. the mic around, you literally look like you're in a shark cage. <laughs> trying to talk. But you can move your seat a little bit. We I should like just to, ignore her, actually. I this, she like, didn't I, even I, want to be on it. I drive. I like to drive really close to the steering wheel. Oh, yeah. Try getting in a car after she's driven it. Stop. She needs those little uh, hand controls. Can't reach the seat. I actually, like, oh. I like to drive with the with those like little, a, uh, they're like little titties? dinosaur grabbers, yeah. and I use those, <laughs> like for to pick up change. Like but a I use claw, them. like yeah, a claw like grabber. Extender. Yeah, she really adds a lot of extra steps to the driving game. The Dri- worst part is that I have a stick shift. The thing <laughs> with the thing with driving, uh, I sound like Cosby what for the a second. Hell? Oh, was it, was like, it was like Jerry it's Cosby. Two different impressions. Ma, I know what the impression I thing. Uh Driving, I kind of hate that guys pay more. I know we are riskier drivers, but... We that pay, is bullshit. We it's because you always drive. That's why you have to pay more. Uh, oh, maybe. No, we're, That's we a get, really good point. I, I think we get <laughs> more accidents, but we... Do we, though? Yeah, I think so. If you, I don't want to look it up while we're... Uh, I don't want to look this. it up ever. Ever. Because, you know, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure, especially guys that are like 16 to 24, kind of the worst people in society, um, the ones that get arrested the most. Yeah. Uh, I would say that it's kind of bullshit, though, because all the traffic I see, it's just a lot. I have to hate see them, right? I drive around them. I have to see their face Mm -hmm. Mm. to get that anger. Like, oh, fuck. Uh." But then your traffic. Uh, I'm not texting. I'm looking for a specific song. I'm actually good at it. I can text and drive fine. I'm awesome at it. Yeah, well, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, all I mean, the other people. All that other shits for those fucking. Those meetings. other people. Yeah. They need to get their shit together. Stop texting and driving. I'm gonna knock on this. Not me. I'm really good at it. That'll happen. Yeah, for sure. Oh, by the way, if, if you... I don't knock on this wood, I'm for sure gonna get in an accident. Well, there is a law now, official, not allowed to text and drive in in Florida. In Florida, yeah. and I think. Uh, way to friend be of the, the program. 30, way to be 38th state. Yeah, I think uh, Brett Metcalf mm-hmm. might have posted about it. Um, and if it wasn't you, Brett, I'm sorry, but that basically, if you don't hand over your phone, you you just choose to not give them your phone. They really can't do anything about it. Oh, right on. That it's a Fourth a Amendment, Fourth they Amendment thing. I just don't want yeah. them to swipe right on any pictures or anything. Yeah, be like, don't go through the photos. Sorry, Officer. there's so many black dicks on there. <laughs> I don't, I see, I text good. It's a felony level of black dicks. I send dick pics, <laughs> but not my own dick. I send good dicks. Yeah. So that's my game. And he'd be like, what is going on? Straight th- to jail. My thing is, uh, I hate the head bob at the, at you're at traffic light. You can see through the, the back mirror or the back window and you can see their head is down, right? Uh-huh. It, there's no one else in the car. And then you know they're not going to get on it right when it hits green. And that's when you get dad bod mad. It's I've like, never, ever looked through that mirror. Exa- this is my point exactly. Because chicks don't care. Yeah, they don't. You're I don't even know selfies, why that mirror is there. You're doing... <laughs> it's an awareness thing. No, but I mean, you're, you can look ahead at the car in front of you. You see their heads down through their, their <laughs> back mirror. And they're not paying attention to the, to the light turning green. Neither am I. She's not looking at that either, for sure. <laughs> what are you? She's doing? not even looking at the rear view. I'm She's depending talking about the, rear on view. the guy Wait, behind me how to many... honk for both of us. No, yeah, I honk. And the lady I honk through me. people. Yeah, I'll honk three cars back. I got honked at twice angrily on the way to Ebor, and there weren't even any lights. <laughs> I'm pushing for a Tesla self-driving car right now. Yeah, and everybody's like, 
we can't. That's gonna be that's gonna be too much. I, you, or, I bet it's weird at first, right? But I'm sure it's fine, and it's much, 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 much safer. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely. not that good at driving, right? Yeah, I mean, it, the computer doesn't get distracted by phones. People are. It is a phone. People brag about parallel parking. <laughs> I'm a great parallel parker. <laughs> but, I mean, like, I also can parallel park. It's one of my few driving talents. Uh, okay, but I'm saying like that's like I can make mm. scrambled eggs. <laughs> that, that's like nothing. I actually can make really good scrambled eggs too. Jesus Christ, you guys! <laughs> you can do a ponytail as well. I can do a great ponytail. But I am happy you're taking those improv classes. <laughs> you are yes ending all of this, so I'm good with it. I'm that douche too. <laughs> I also, like that it. douche. <laughs> I could be that guy. Uh, I we didn't have much prepared beforehand. I did see we, we were getting a WeWork in Tampa, uh, and that the co-working spaces are kind of interesting because they were like, I sent the article in our Slack. I don't know if you saw it. I did not see it as you barf your guts out. WeWork, is that like a, it's a co-share co It's a kosher, space. kosher. Kosher for the jewelry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <with> the, <laughs> Any reason to push it? Any reason? We work is um, we work is one of those co-share work spots that all the bigger cities have. Tampa is kind of a tertiary city, secondary city to like Miami got one, but we haven't had one yet. Mm. And uh, they do it the best, but they haven't just like kind of like Uber. They haven't made a profit yet. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, one of those things where it's like. It's well, worth a billion so, dollars. We haven't so made any money, investment. but it's worth a billion dollars. Well, real estate's tangible, it feels like, right? Uber's really going, it, hey, this data is, is. going to be so worth it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Need our data. Oh, I want my numbers. They ain't wrong. You get those driverless cars. You get the, the truck drivers out of the game. You need that. You kind of need that data. We need some numbers. Yeah. Is uh, this like a place you can rent to do your job? What kind of job? What I that's J-spa? what I, I I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, you can rent a desk, um, or like you have access to. I think you can have your own desk, or just like there's a bunch of open ones that you can like first, Panera first Bread. Dibs. Yeah, like Panera Bread. <coughs> Only you pay, and you don't get coffee. Yeah, ex- yeah. Or lunch. I bet the food's better at WeWork. I don't even know if they have anything there, but Panera is overrated. <laughs> um, <laughs> you think it's always good. You're like, oh shit, yeah, Panera Bread, and then. She just I, thinks bread is good. I haven't she just misses bread. bread in like 10 years. Oh, bread. <laughs> I do love bread. You guys are keto snobs, I forget. We're Not barely. Snobs. Like... Just, uh, you know, we don't sit down and eat a loaf of bread. Every night. I mean, it's, you know, it's it sounds amazing. Thing. Bread and butter. Does it? I thought yeah. you don't have cravings. Bread no, I mean, it, it. I'm not. There's a difference between like having cravings or like something sounding good and like being hungry so like, walk, walk me through i know we've gone over a lot walk me through breakfast lunch dinner oh, you know, this eat, is gonna be easy you can i do breakfast like two and meals lunch? right you do breakfast and lunch i'm thinking about it only in an energy and you actually i thought about keto if we talk a lot about like how much food costs for family and stuff it's way more if you do keto really okay yes. <laughs> i was like but you eat less. I didn't know how the math would work out. Well, so there's the to... there's like a, a baseline of like keto things that help you bake and cook and do things that you need to get to invest in at the beginning. But Such really, is it really... around eighteen hundred almond flour, or just like stuff that's like that you replace Jeez. other things with? But is it? I mean, you really think it's more expensive yes. to eat keto? Why? Just because you're not eating cheap? Yeah, processed... because you don't eat potatoes, you don't eat bread, you don't eat rice. I mean, all those things are cheap. Yeah, I guess. So every night anyway. we have to. There's like a whole nother piece of it that I have to make so that we don't die. Yeah, but I thought I thought you eat way less portion. Like you're not nearly as hungry. That's we don't eat breakfast though. or lunch. That's different though. When we eat dinner, it's a big, you know, big dinner. It's a hoopla. No, it's just a lot. Golden Corral. Like we'll pick out at dinner. Golden Corral, not chocolate funnel. Yeah, I guess it would be pig uh, out. We eat a big. Vanilla, we just pig out on a big funnel. salad. Yeah, big salads. Big the food itself is better. I mean, when you can use butter for things to to flavor it, it's amazing. Mm. Broccoli's amazing. Even when Eric you is a good broccoli, cook. butter, and garlic salt, great. It's easy to make. Three ingredients. 
So uh, meat's all good on the table? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And we're not strict. Like, we're not counting our carbs, really, but, like, we both are oh, pretty shit. active. I didn't know you guys were cheating a little but, bit. But, like... Right. Oh, every weekend. Oh, okay. Every weekend, you I... Don't I chicken? No yeah. longer pay attention. Yeah, the breading on the church's chicken is not okay. I mean, if you want to do I it... I eat fried chicken once a week, and at least one serving of french fries. <laughs> <laughs> do you really? Yes. She's worse than I am. <laughs> Most of the time, but I don't ever ever eat sweets like hardly ever. You'll you'll get yeah. When I go when I go to the dark side, I go hard. Oh, very hard. I've yet to see that. Yeah, yeah. just I was it happens to late at night. Come over any night. Bloodshot eyes. Twelve and one. <laughs> really? That's not me. That's another person. A bag of Rolos. <laughs> like uh, get away from Stop me. Couch. <laughs> don't like, talk to me. It's daddy's time. <laughs> uh, well, I was thinking about. Uh, I was trying to think about what we were going to talk about for this episode earlier <laughs> as I ran. During the podcast. As I ran uh, around Ybor, which is kind of the Bourbon Street area, Tampa. Yeah, when I walked up, Nikki Law was walking down the stairs, no shirt, getting ready to go run stairs mm-hmm. at the old movie theater. Yeah, <laughs> there's no movie theater there anymore. So that sounds that like was, the beginning I was like, of a that book. is so <laughs> creepy. He's like, there's no movie theater anymore. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. I'm the king <laughs> of this place. <laughs> Of these ruins, I there's no we're, we have no hills and there's like barely any stairs around here. <laughs> we so. only have abandoned. You were literally here, right? going downstairs when I saw you going to run stairs, I, run up I'm and not, down these stairs. I, I gotta do it outside. Gotta get the really want to puke kind of sweat. I want two day kind of nasty if I'm gonna do it. Yeah, but you only run downstairs and then you use that little handy capable elevator thing to bring you back up, <laughs> and then yeah. you run down and then you you go up. That's when I hurt my. That's why it took so sure. long. Yeah, it's better on your joints that way too. Mm-hmm. What is that called? The cherry picker? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Whatever you're going to say is going to be like construction equipment. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Uh, well, um, I don't know. I was picturing like the thing they had in the 90s that, that brought you up your own stairs. You need I wasn't think, picturing. You you're talking to... about the lady, the Sopranos old yes, lady. That's the one. Let me, let me paint a mental picture for you. Uh, shirt off, short shorts. It's uh, about 90 degrees outside. Ooh, some of your right. It's 10 a.m. Uh, and think like. Somehow you were already sweaty before you went outside. <laughs> I sweat a lot. <laughs> I sweat like a pig, uh, like a fat pig all the time. Um, I burn. I run hot, but I'm saying like, I was going. Uh, think Rocky Three, just no gay hug on the beach, <laughs> just like that. That kind of training. Um, is that that help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm there. Do you get it now? And then I got asked. Grasp. I got asked to leave. Did the, you? By the mall security guy. By the homeless people that live there. He was like, you're too ripped. Get uh, out of here. I called I was it like, in a Sir, tip. sir. I called it in. Yeah, I'll 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 beat your segue in a race, <laughs> sir. There's I challenged him. him. Where is this movie theater? It's Centro Ebor movie theater oh, over that there. Closed down? The... That's a good question yeah. for podcasts. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Hey, where's that local thing? Closed down business. I'm so sorry to all the Swedish listeners. <laughs> We got uh, we got some in Pakistan. I saw. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we're charting. Woo, we're like number four hundred in careers. Yeah, on uh, on the Apple iTunes uh, charts for careers. I mean, like I said, according to my LinkedIn connections, if we ever go to India, Ooh, it won't be boy. huge. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na. Blow up in India. Na-na-na-na-na-na. That was my best. That was Bollywood. <sighs> Good God. <laughs> um, so I was thinking about. <laughs> It's not fair. You have a soundboard. I have to. I have to do it myself. It's not fair. <laughs> Behind it's a shark cage, part. too. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> you really like when this camera angle hits you. You might as well just be like. Yeah, turn know, around. Watch real quick. Turn around. And look how like <laughs> you look like your piece of the furniture. I don't want to hide. Um. So Whatever. I was thinking about two things. Uh, gamify. Gamifying a lot of stuff lately for me has helped me do a lot of shit uh like consistently i don't know if y'all ever do that you got to play the game yourself um not not that game not downstairs dj (laughs) misses but um but i'm saying like i was like all right i got 20 minutes i i should go try to do this let's see if i can go run you know 10 flights of stairs come back 20 minutes and then i got a meeting to get dressed for whatever I try to do that all the time. I can't imagine. And then you put on jeans and a long sleeve shirt. Oh, we had a meeting right after that. So I took a paper towel and wiped myself off. Yeah. <laughs> I him. know. Are you? Sl- do I need a drip pan for that seat? Yeah. Um, the What I'm saying is y'all ever do that. Oh, her seat. I thought you meant your seat. Or both you guys. You know, I don't know. Um, I already have one. So do y'all, do y'all do that with some of the kind of mundane things you do in your work life? 
any of that where you're like, okay. I do. Yeah, I try and clean up all the dog shit before I have to go to work. I should and preface your dentist. <laughs> so I don't know if I that, just hope I can get it house. done in you time ha- enough I was like, to wash my hands. You have a lot work. of patients that eat dog shit. <laughs> yeah, but is that a game? Do you gamify it? Or do you just no. you're just talking about trying to get your chores done before? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm sorry. Your like, chores. She doesn't have chores. The things you, you do all the time and I'm I'm trying to make this more work kind of base, but like something where you're like, All right, I'm gonna try to beat my time on this. Uh, or I'm going to try to do something different this time. I don't know. Y'all ever do that? No? I do it with, like, I mean, just weightlifting and stuff. Like, yeah. I'll keep track okay. of, like, the weight I use, and stuff, but I'm not, I wouldn't call it gamifying. It's just more, like, record-keeping, just to keep my p- pushing myself along sort of thing. But I don't know. What do I do? I do anything like ga- that make a game out of something? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Not really. This is a good topic. I'm glad I brought it up. <laughs> You're the only immature child who needs to make games out of things. I think y'all do it and maybe not recognize it. Like, all right, you're cleaning someone's teeth and you're like, can I do this without barfing in my mask throughout the whole thing? (laughs) If I do that, I get a Rolo. First of all, she doesn't clean the teeth. (laughs) Whatever. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. Uh, I'm really really grasping at straws here, guys. (laughs) I don't know. Gamifying it? You know what? So what were you? Well, in the digital marketing game, I, you always have KPIs, which is like your your you go okay. Here's 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 what I'm trying to beat all the time, and that's kind of like your ongoing game uh, game within the game kind of thing. Yeah, but I mean, really, like yeah. you're calling it a game, but re- I mean, it's just kind of like being diligent about records, you know, like because that's just really. I, I guess it's a mindset as well, like, usual. I'll you're do a mindset. I'll do the sweet in in office workouts in here that y'all love. Or I'll do it. I do like it. I'll do a circuit workout, and in the rest breaks, can I clean the office and organize the office while I'm resting? Ooh, I do that. I try and say that my cleaning the house is exercise. <laughs> this is different. That's a different game. I'm doing exercise and then cleaning That's mind games when I'm supposed me. to be resting. I you're do doing game, I you're do doing the thing where, where you're have... like, I went on a walk around the neighborhood. That's a lot of points. <laughs> yes. That counts as my steps. I'm winning this game. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But um, look, that's good too. I'm just saying, I didn't know if y'all felt that way. I guess I am in the minority of this one. Uh, I should do a deadlift when I take out a bunch of teeth. I should do a like a deadlift in between each one. Yeah, something like that. Just, just see if you can do it. Squeeze in a workout. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, I'll give you a five dollar discount if I can just work out in between doing your your stuff. No, you have to pay me more. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I have to change more. into my workout shorts and and I don't do that yeah. for free. Yeah, Umbros they don't they're not cheap. Um, already wears on bros. So, all right. The other thing I was thinking about, maybe this will be better, <laughs> is um, kind of inertia. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, what, were you going to say something interesting? About, it was on the same level of like, I'm a big uh, energy inertia guy, right? Sure. Like, it, everybody operates that way. I don't yeah. know. I, I think you and Not I. Not everybody I, admits it. Really? I, I don't, this is what I was kind of throwing out there. Like, I, uh, if things are rolling, for whatever reason, it makes it a lot easier to just check off things off the task list. Absolutely agree. To me, that's part of the gamifying a bit of, like, what... He just winked at me to bring it full circle. I winked at both you guys at the same time. I was so just you did a double saw a blink? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I mean... You guys are on top of it. Well, I mean, inertia, I think... It the default up- is people like to... Uh, that they'll just kind of... Uh, dovetail on whatever happened last you know it's your mood sort of thing no, I, think I think the people I that have... are really strong mentally are the ones that can flip the switch that well, don't need inertia they so... don't need that positive thing to happen to go do something positive. so that's what i'm saying like um it shouldn't have to be there to do some of these little things that i'll just be like fuck it i'm trying to be more consistent overall which i know is not a goal because it doesn't really have like a deadline it doesn't have like a quantifiable right thing. it's yeah you can't define it but uh like being consistent is what you're saying. Like it's the opposite of just living off of inertia and just trying to go with, you know, I'm feeling like it right now. Right. Yeah. That's tough to get to, you know. I think that when I have nothing to do, I can't get anything done. So, and devil, if I am very busy, the devil I am makes, very efficient. The devil makes work for idle hands kind of thing. Is that from the Bible? Uh, it's paraphrasing <laughs> something. Yeah. I would say, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think that's how it is for a lot of people, yeah. by the way. I think y- it becomes impossible for me to do things when I don't have like 
a lot going well on. you've got yeah I, you've I'm got kind of an way. extreme situation though like for you mentally going to work is a lot like you've got a lot going on it's like a lot to think about it's like, like she'll come home and she'll start saying oh i feel so bad i'm not doing something I'm like just chill out it's okay to just chill out like mm-hmm. i'm not well yeah you probably beat judging yourself you up like, a lot you have a job that yeah, you have exactly. to be a perfectionist so that is like that and you are literally with the patient so uh there is a, a weird kind of heightened sense of of your job of your service you're doing right oh yeah so it's it's it is i can understand how that would be draining right it's a bit draining it can be it's better than it used to be. <laughs> How did it used to be? Well, no, like when I first started practicing, it was, you know, 10 years ago. It was a lot. It would take like every bit of energy just to get through the day. And then I'd come home and I'd crash. Now I can have a 45 minute conversation and then I crash. It's part of it's good that you get hyped up for that because I don't, I feel like a lot of dentists are uh, like, it's still good that you probably get a little good anxiety. There is good oh, anxiety. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, for sure. It can push you a little bit to be in the game, but like, because I mean, I'm sure after seeing so many, uh, so many people's mouths, uh, it loses its luster a little bit. <laughs> you mean like from the get go? <laughs> like it's just like uh, someone's mouth to me. If you <laughs> you were trying to show me a picture, I was like, no thanks. And you're like, no, no, no. Let me show you. Let me show you what I did. I was like, uh-uh, no, nah, I don't care. The perfect <laughs> mouth was gross to me. Yeah, like I don't need to see a dude's mouth. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. But you're, she's showing you that the luster is not gone. She's excited. Oh, she I had no, no, that's good. Case. That's good. That is a little bit of what I was talking about before of like, I want the gold star. I want to get to the next level uh, kind of thing. Yeah. A, a little bit of that gamifying. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting. It's, She's got one of the few jobs that like can in a day change somebody's attractiveness like two notches, three notches. Sure. Yeah. Go from no teeth to having teeth. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, do a little of that. Very few jobs like daily, like you can change somebody's life. That's that's thanks, babe. It's really, I mean, <laughs> it's true. Like you got, you know, there's been people that come out there. It's like that person's. I mean, that should be all slogan. Like turning uggos into fives. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't get you uh, to a ten, but we can yeah. get you like a six, yeah. six, five. We'll pump you up a, a couple points. Yeah, <laughs> that should be the campaign. It's, but I mean, it's weird, right? Like people ha- like. um smiling in general if you have bad teeth like think about that everything you're walking around you. hiding your teeth all day right because you don't want to smile because then you got bad teeth what? and then you can smile again oh i used to have braces forever and i never wanted to smile cause right like, mm-hmm. like you want to talk about you know just manifesting whatever sort of mood you want like that ain't gonna help well mixed with resting bitch face that is d- default right right yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> i mean i don't know it's so why yeah. aren't we sponsored by Quip, A? And then B, <laughs> why isn't the practice sponsored by Quip? They're the fucking coolest toothbrushes out there. Not not an official sponsor of Sweat Equity. Yet. Do you want to actually hear what you had to say? Or I do. But, I do. We forget to. But yeah, actually, pump, though, or are we actually talking to Quip? Nobody really wants to. We hear are about. actually talking. We can, uh, through our ad agency that just got bought out, we can put an offer in or a quest in. To have them as a sponsor. Oh, okay. Isn't Quip great, Nikki? <laughs> they are. That's a, it's a toothbrush. Isn't it the best? It's a toothbrush. It does. <laughs> Looks like a toothbrush. It's a toothbrush. It's a toothbrush. <laughs> well, that's a ringing endorsement. Five out of five didn't say, it's, it's a, a toothbrush. toothbrush. <laughs> it is that. Uh, I do. I think it's all about style with it, though. I do like that it, ha- it basically is made... Uh, they're trying to call it like Apple design of a uh, toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, you just want everything to look like an iPad. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. It's a toothbrush. And that's really and it good. Tells you, it tells you uh, what, how long to be on what quadrant in your mouth. Or they something. all do that, they all do though. That. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. So their ads are good. Yeah. Look, first mover, they, they market on podcasts. I'm always paying attention to the advertisers on podcasts, although it's starting to become a little bit more broad. Yeah. What's out there, but uh, the shows, the comedy shows, usually because they can only get a certain kind of sponsor. Sometimes, I like to see who's kind of the first mover in some areas. So, Quip, like for Hems, uh, probably not that different than anything else. But they got what's weird about they got that? Good packaging. Yeah, but it, you know, it's isn't it Hems? Isn't the company just called Hems? Well, they they and the website the, is for Hems. I think they lost the. Four, I don't know. But like that's what I, like isn't that uh, this is a complete side side note? But that 
I always was like, what's for, look for four hymns or whatever, and it's not that's not the actual name of the company. It's hymns is what it's called. Yeah. What is it? It's like male enhancement. You know, that like, they, gray it, area of like, oh, you'll get boners and your hair will grow back no, and they basically, all that. They found the pharmaceutical drugs that uh, their uh, patent goes up. And so all they did was go, okay, here's the generics. We're on top of it. We're ah. just going to package it differently. We're going to market it to hipstery kind of people that are, you know. They're like, looking for something age, new. Or I like, find that podcast advertising is extremely effective. It's like the only advertising I, I get anymore speaking of which yeah. we should probably uh do our sponsors so because <laughs> we haven't done them in a while mm, yeah if you want to uh get a phone line for your business you have a dental practice you want to just go all kind of cell phone app based or you got uh you got a uh, you just want a different phone number for your business to not ruin your ketogenic dinners uh together with your family a second phone line or a second family or so you have a second family you have a second family that's like a business too it's That's a, a whole other thing. We it, don't have a sponsor for that, though. Uh, the second family? Yeah. Or, no, Ashley Need Madison a or anything? phone. Burners uh, are, like, not a thing anymore. But Nobody we, uses a burner for their second family. The, you need a burner phone? Uh, try grasshopper.com slash sweat. Uh, it, we get $50 off if you go to that URL. Try grasshopper.com slash sweat. That'll, get to, that'll give you the hookup. Holler if you hear me. Um, what are our other ones? If you're into accounting, I am, are which you? I am. I Do you love like book, it. Bookkeeping? Oh, God, just looking at numbers and just pluses and minuses. Do you like invoices that get paid and get direct deposited within 48 hours? Yeah, big time. Well, FreshBooks mm. is your jam. That's your jelly. Go freshbooks.com slash sweat. Yeah, slash sweat, like key sweat. Yep. Go freshbooks.com slash sweat. Get that hook up. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it helps the it helps the podcast gets better. God, it? that guy he, it sounds like he's taking like a sweet dog. Uh, <laughs> that's why I wanted it. Yeah, I never get sick uh, of it. It's like it does so much before I realized that wasn't you. <laughs> last, uh, uh, it looks last, like I did it. Last sponsor that we have is uh, you like glasses? You want to look cool? You like my glasses? They're Warby Parker. You can get five to take home for a trial. Hook us up. You're going to get glasses anyway. Don't get ripped off by lens crafters. All, all those are owned by one company. All, all the big uh, uh, sunglass and eyeglass stores are basically owned by one big monolithic Italian company. Yeah, Zeitgeist. It's called Lexotica. They got a monopoly. I don't know how it works. They own the insurance. They own it all. They got their hands in everything. Warby Parker's a disruptor. Mm-hmm. That means you get, you get shit cheaper. You get it for what it should cost. Yeah. No, I mean. Why are you paying $300 for glasses? It's ridiculous. Yeah. And you or get more. all those to try on. I sent my prescription in. I go, here's the ones that make my fat head look okay. And then I got them back and boom. Done. Yeah. You got to go to the horse section. There's a horse, like for narrow heads, there's yep. a section where the uh, pupillary distance is in, in very narrow. Yep. And long le- uh, legs on them. And, they call legs or arms on the glasses? Uh, stems? Stems. I don't know. Stems are real long. It's different for the horror section. Uh, WarbyParkerTrial.com forward slash sweat. That'll hook up the show. That's a way to help the show if you're already getting these products already. And then. Um, that's all of them. That's all we got? I yeah. think so. We need to get our and, Amazon and soon on. quip. Yeah. Quip, quip. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, I don't know. If not, I don't like quip. Can't, I'm going to wh- stop brushing wh- my teeth. How does it go with pushing products as a dentist uh, or a dental practice? Is it. Do you really need to vet stuff uh, before yes. you push it? I feel like a lot of them, I used to get pushed stuff that... Um, the red flag. <laughs> where you're like, uh, well, I I get it, but like, because I'm kind of just a little contrarian if someone's pushing something toward me like that I don't know about. And I sell I, everything at cost <laughs> that I sell, so it's not, it's not very uh, <laughs> effective for me, but... The things that I carry in my practice are, I only have a few products. But what would another dentist maybe push that right. you're kind of just like, eh. Let's talk a little smack about the industry. Come on. Like tooth whitening. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, mean, I, that's, I do all those things. Right. But, like, something... I'm never like, hey, your your girl's looking like cream corn. Let's, you know, I, I, I if somebody asks me you about don't it, we have them? it. No, I try not to. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I don't hey, really... girl, you're looking plump. What up, butter teeth? your teeth look gross. There's a lot of really crappy dental offices that like push a lot of stuff and so 
in an effort to like be as different as them as possible, I, I find that I don't, I don't like push anything. If someone has That's a problem, good. then like I, I have a solution that involves a product. Like I, I keep it there. You and, almost and... did vanilla ice, I think. <laughs> Yo, well, did you know that? It. Did you mean to do that? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> so you know, like, check on my hook. Yeah. I, oh, can you do it. anything? Is there any upsell? Like if you oh, go yeah. to a hairstylist, part of the game that you should do is have that take home, that retail set up while they're in the chair so they can see it all the whole time they're yeah. sitting there. Um, I just think it's you so can gross. Make, like, I just, I feel like people see through it. So uh, I don't. So at, I, I know the hairstylist stuff just cause I was in that industry. It, it, you're going to buy some of that stuff anyway. Yeah. So it really hooks up the stylist more than if you just went to wherever you're going to buy it. Yeah. And some stuff's exclusive that you can't get anywhere because they have that weird distribution yeah. for all that beauty stuff. But news flash asshole. It's our two minute warning. It's a new one. For for dental, I feel like there's a lot of shit out there. If you yeah. go into like CVS, you're like, Jesus Christ, there's how many toothbrushes? Yeah. I I feel like uh if you align are y'all seeking out stuff to align with certain brands and go, this is what I like. I don't you push by not pushing or you don't push at all. You're like, what I, I like. I only here? care. I carry like four things. Like I, I carry like a an electric toothbrush, a gun that I sell <laughs> at cost, <laughs> and my holster. I keep it right there, ready to go. I sell a a prescription strength toothpaste because it's annoying to have to go to the pharmacy to get it, and people do need it. And I, I have a mouthwash that's also prescription only. Okay. And then um. That's it. The, the only carry those three products. Everything else I just give away. So maybe that's... I wrap it into my cost. More of the talk is that uh, upsell doesn't always mean it's a bad thing, right? And I just hate being upsold. So. No, you don't have to... I'm saying not upsell, but uh, call it bundle, call it... Options. Yeah. Giving them options. Complimentary. Sure. Some people don't know these things exist. Sure. So I didn't know prescription toothpaste existed until just now. Yeah. I didn't know either. <laughs> uh, so it's like one of those things where... You don't have to make a crazy profit on it, but it is one of those things where you're adding value sure. to the client experience, to the patient experience. Sure. Yeah. So I mean, that's, that's what she's, you know, she's trying to build relationships here. She's in a unique position that she doesn't she's have to She's joining my networking out. group. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to do the that. Cult. All uh, hail Dr. Ivan Meisner. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? That's the, that's the cult leader. Oh. I'll probably get kicked out for this last part, but I don't care. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is the end of this episode. <laughs> what about my sweat equity? That, no. Don't get up, soul. Uh, my value. My sweat equity. My, my sweat equity. Sweatequitypod.com. Oh. DrMorgani.com. Forget about that one. What about my sweat equity? Uh. Your favorite spot.